Okay, everybody, so you saw Part A. Who plays Hide and Seek? Who plays Hide and Seek? So she said, let Sarah tell. I thought he was saying hell. He was saying Sarah. Oh, my gosh. I was wondering if the guy was going to pull a Houdini stunt and pop out. Well, who, 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 I never heard of adults playing hide and seek. That's something you play with minor children. And how is with him saying, I can't breathe, he said it more than once or twice. Why would you knock the person out? They both have a history of DV, domestic violence against each, against each other. And she mentioned like, you know, after all you've done for me. See, she has pretty much recorded, in my opinion, like recorded his murder. The man died in a suitcase. He was going, Sarah, Sarah. And he said he couldn't breathe more than once. And she didn't let him out. The fact that she said, for all you've done to me, I'll let you know. That's why she's in the handcuffs. We were playing hide and seek. Only two of you lived there and you forgot? How could you forget? One bottle of wine got you going? How could you forget that he wasn't with you? And you went upstairs and went to bed. The suitcase was moving. It was really weird. Sarah. And she going to come up with, I don't think the hide and seek defense is going to work for Sarah. I really don't. Especially given their history of DV. When she, she's, besides her recording it. I mean, girl, you just sealed your own fate. If it's that bad, just leave. And see, I know sometimes people get in a financial position where they can't leave. But if it's that bad, she should, she should just left. She should have just left. And now, look, I think she sealed her own fate. And she went to bed. That's the part that totally grabs me. How the heck she go to bed? Oh, and I forgot. Oh, that he was in there. He said he can't breathe. It makes me wonder if she tricked him into getting into that suitcase. He'll get in here, play a little game. I'll let you out. And may have been harboring, because people do plan things, been harboring some things. She mentioned for all the things, some things that he done to her, something of that nature. So seeing him in that suitcase, he said he can't breathe, girl. I mean, it sounded like a little joke. That's why I collect. It's like, this is so silly. And then seeing the suitcase rock back and forth, some kind of Linda Blair action going on. I thought, oh, what the heck? This is crazy. But they have prior domestic violence issues. So basically, maybe she was trying to have a little fun. Then we're going to laugh about it later. I think she sealed her fate with the video. And she doesn't seem distraught. She acting like nobody, you know, I see more people more upset about their dog missing. I see more people upset about their dog missing. And she wants her water, you know, a cigarette, maybe to calm her nerves. If this was her vengeance, girl, you just should have just should have walked away. To me, it looks like she basically just recorded this man's death. He said he couldn't breathe more than once, girl. He said he could not breathe. You saw the little suitcase rocking back and forth. That little suitcase was moving. You saw that. But she refused to unzip it. So that leads me to believe, leads me to think that maybe she was really and truly harboring that anger. Harboring that anger. And maybe that's why she maybe she didn't unzip it. It's best to just leave. And I think sometimes people can't afford to leave, especially now. They were playing hide and seek. What, so let me know, what do you all think? I've never known adults to play hide and seek. I mean, maybe they do. Hey. But in um, in the brief in the suitcase, the man rocking back and forth, got the little suitcase moving, saying he can't breathe. Why did she say, "Okay, let me let, let you let let him out"? She didn't.
Why didn't she just let him out? She didn't do that though. Why not? And when you add DV in, it makes it look like that maybe she was harboring. To me, it looks like she was harboring some anger. And that this right here, it may may have started off as, a, as you know, a little play. Uh, maybe. Or maybe did she trick him? Because, see, all we, we know Sarah is here. He's not here anymore. She said he got in the suitcase. Was well, she maybe playing a game? And maybe was that the idea? How Again, how do you go upstairs? He's in the suitcase. I don't see how you could forget he was in that suitcase and go upstairs and go to bed. You go upstairs and go to bed. But boo in the suitcase. He said he can't breathe. Then at some point, uh, the, the suitcase, what I'm assuming, stops rocking. At some point, you don't hear anything else. And what, what does she do? And then she wakes up the next af afternoon and does CPR. Girl, bye. She let him out then. What does she think was going to happen in the suitcase? Some people wouldn't even put their dog in a suitcase. What did she think was going to happen in that suitcase overnight? Sarah, it's not going to work. You just should have left, girl. You just bought yourself a jail cell, a jumpsuit. You just bought yourself a jumpsuit. I don't think the hide and seek game is going to work for her. I don't. I, I don't see how. Anyway, you all let me know. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So, note to self, anybody, and especially there's a little contention there. You got a DV history. Uh, this might be the new way to get rid of your spouse or your significant other, your boo, your bae. If anybody wants to play hide and seek, don't forget. You get inside that suitcase, honey, it's death you might meet. So, I think she caught herself being a little clever. And maybe it went too far. I don't know if, why he was in there. Maybe some things came to her memory and she just thought, I'm going to leave him in there. Teach him a lesson. Again, when he said he could, I mean, her own video. Like I said, it seemed like a joke at first because I, I was like, well, you got to be kidding me. The suitcase rocking. Sarah. I thought he was saying help. No, he was saying Sarah. Sarah. Wow. Unbelievable. Sometimes... It's just best to leave. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you all think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Again, hide and see. Nah, I won't be playing that game, especially when it comes to getting to a confined space like a suitcase. Uh-uh. He played hide and seek. Not knowing it's death he would meet, and I'm out. Simply said, here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.